Hello friends, welcome to LMS Solution Research Support. In this video, we are going to discuss about a fantastic AI tool which acts as a AI analyst, AI personal analyst for us. So you can upload any document that is you can upload a word file or else you can upload an Excel sheet. So especially to it is used for analysis of data. So you can upload any Excel sheet and get the analysis of the particular sheet and also you can generate different types of images, charts, graphs using this particular tool. So let us see how it will works out and also we can upload our theory content so it will use to analyze the theory as like in many of the literature survey tools we have done so far. So in that we have uploaded a paper so after that upload a paper or a any PDF document we will ask some questions related to the document they will start to answer for that particular questions in that corresponding paper so like that uh, this is also an AI analyst especially for data analyst you can upload any excel sheet and get your data get your analyzed so let us go on to today's video and explore that AI tool so the tool what we are going to discuss today is the Julius AI so it is a GPT-4 powered AI tool. So it is a AI spreadsheet analysis and trend visualization. So turn your spreadsheet into insights. Julius is uh, your AI data analyst transforming Excel files and other data into charts and uncovering key, key trends. So after you can log in through your Julius, uh, you will be getting a dashboard like this here. So here you can see get started. Click, click this get started. <coughs> this you can see this is what uh, file to be analyzed. So if you upload any file, so you can copy and paste a file here that is an Excel sheet. Uh, so automatically it will uh, generate the analysis for that particular data in this Excel sheet. So it will be a, uh, here you can see this is what you can done using this uh, tool. So click on get started. So in order to explore that here before that you can see different types of uh, tools. I am Julius your personal AI data analyst. I can analyze visualize and export your data add a data file to get started. So still uh, we had yet uh, we need to add uh, some data files or data sheets. So before that you can see so find the co correlations and trends forecast future values. So like that are there. So here you can see this is uh, I am going to click run so it will take sample data and it will start to run and it will analyze the particular tables that is number of rows and columns present in the particular sheets and uh, show the representation of that particular uh, table and the data that the, that is the analyzed data you will be getting so here you can see the tip data set it is a inbuilt example uh, after that we will upload some data so here you can see <coughs> the tips uh, data sets contain 244 entries with the following columns <coughs> total build tip 6 smoker day time so like that it will have uh, different types so here um, you can see and here is the statistical summary of numerical columns in the data set so here you can see minimum 25 percentage that is uh, 50 percentage 70 percentage maximum so like that here you can see the uh, different types of data that is uh, summarized uh, statistical summary of the particular tabular column we have seen so this is the tabular column so this is the statistical summary of the tabular column and you can see here is the regression plot of the tip amount versus the total bill so this is a plot show the positive correlation between the total bill and the tip amount the tip amount also tends to increase so like that you can enter your excel sheet here and you can get your data availed so in order to explore that what uh, what we are going to do is we are going to upload a file so what is the file i am going to upload is that so i am going to upload a basic data so <coughs> here you can see so this is data one two and three so method one and method two so this is what I am going to apply so for simplify reasons so you can upload whatever the excel sheet you want so I am going to uh, uh, upload that book too so it will take several seconds to upload here you can see that our uh, response is started to generate that is book 2 response is started to generate so let us see how it will generate so just we have made a so here you can see Yes, we have given the same like this x y data 1 data 2 data 3 so next method 2 here 1 3.5 6 the, this is this is what we have given so these are the mean st uh, standard minimum 25 percentage 50 percentage 75 percentage of maximum data 
so here you can get the statistical summary so if you want uh, the that is the uh, graph to be added so you can give a bigger table so thereby you can get a graph also so just we will explore so here you can see our uh, that is the data comparison is given so here these are the values so we have described uh, if you see the excel sheet means you will be getting an idea so here you can see method 1 method 2 so different uh, values are given for three different datas so that is what the input we have given so here method 1 and method 2 so method 1 will be in blue color and method 2 in orange color so this, these are the graph so data 1 data 2 so next this is data 3 so like that it will make a comparison table also so if you want you can make it as a regression table or whatever the format you want you can ask for so it will uh, this uh, Julius AI will generate chart for you so you can make use of this Julius AI to make your excel sheet data to be analyzed very better and you can have a statistical uh, summary of the particular excel sheet and also you will be getting a fantastic charts using this Julius AI for your excel sheet so this is a fantastic AI tool to analyze your data so it is called as a personal data analyst so okay you will be having a question it whether it will do for only excel sheets so not for word file so i have explored with word file also so here you can see uh, for example say <coughs> you can see here these are the different uh, mppt methods and the literature survey mppt methods and the literature survey so here you can see so what i am going to do is i am going to upload this document let us see whether the word file is get analyzed or not so we will remove the old one so and we will get started we will upload a new file upload a file choose so we have saved it as here number one <laughs> upload that file so the file we have uploaded is that what what is the file we have uploaded is that so we have uploaded that uh, that is the different mppt comparison files so let us see how it will generate response for the particular word file also whether it will analyze uh, uh, correctly or uh, comparatively whether it will analyze or not we will check it out so you can make use of excel data to get uh, your data is to be uh, presented in graph or <coughs> any charts so here document one document successfully indexed and now it's ready for search questions so you can ask questions what are the different mppt methods are there so i am going to ask the question in this particular document as i already told this document is deals with different MPPT methods uh, for that particular uh, having different uh, advantages and disadvantages if you see you will be getting an idea this is what is all about <coughs> here you can see MPPT method description advantages disadvantages and references so these are the different types of MPPT methods I have uploaded in this paper so here table 2 literature review of nature inspired table likely contains different mppt methods however without more specific details from the document i cannot provide a list of methods so it will just give uh, what is available in this particular document only so it cannot be explored very deeply so okay let us explore with uh, some other pdf so we have explored with the word file so next uh, <coughs> we go on and explore with a pdf now what I am going to do is I am going to upload this PDF a new approach for dynamic fuzzy logic parameter tuning in ant colony optimization and its application in fuzzy control of mobile robot so this is what uh, the topic on the PDF what I am going to upload 
so here click on new file upload a file so choose a file so here so this is the file we are going to upload so we have seen that so I'll click on upload yes here you can see that the document Castillo 2015 has been successfully indexed and it's now ready for searching so the PDF I have uploaded is a new approach of dynamic fuzzy logic parameter tuning in anti-colony optimization and its application in fuzzy control of mobile robot so I am going to ask a question so why ant colony optimization is chosen for this paper so I'm going to ask you a question so let us see how it will works out so if it is uh, generated correctly answers correctly then this Julius A can be useful for our literature review preparation also so let us see how it will generate answer whether that answer is genuine or applicable or not so we will check it out <coughs> here you can see our answer is started to generate the authors of the paper choose and call the optimization for several reasons so here ACO is a population based meta heuristic which makes it suitable for solving complex optimization problems yes this point will be applicable point ACO is inspired by foraging behavior of ant colonies which is natural and efficient method for finding optimal paths okay this, this is acceptable the authors were interested in dynamic fuzzy logic parameter tuning in ACO and its application function application fuzzy control of mobile robot this suggests that they found ACO to be good fit for this particular application yes this will be a good this is also a good answer which justifies the question so determine the correct parameters of fuzzy logic controller a complex problem and ACO provides a method to solve this yes the authors also mentioned the use of pheromone trials in a SEO which is key feature of algorithm and allows it to adapt and improve solutions over time yes all the five points are valid points which validates that anti-colony optimization why anti-colony optimization is chosen for the particular paper so it is a fantastic tool where you can make your PDF that is your reference paper to be get analyzed and you can explore different answers from this questions also it is a fantastic tool that you can analyze your data as well as analyze your reference papers easily and you can make a literature review using this kind of tool also so it is uh, not only for excel sheet and data analysis it is also used to analyze pdfs also so you can make use of this option using in julius a and you can plot different types of graphs from your data and also you can analyze the data and you can get the statistical summary of your data uh, also you can upload any pdf uh, documents and you can ask question in that uh, particular documents the a will ready to answer that particular questions also so it is a good tool where you can uh, analyze theory content and uh, also analyze your data that is uh, the numerical data also very easily so it is a fantastic a tool for researchers to prepare the research paper hope this video will be very helpful for you thank you for watching our videos don't forget to subscribe our channel have a nice day. Thank you.